I'm drawing two glass bottles here. The one on the left is totally freehand, but the one on the right is being drawn with a software assistant called Symmetry. I hope you can see the vertical dotted line running through that bottle on the right. With Symmetry, whatever I draw on one side of that line appears magically and in mirror image on the other. It's a handy tool. I like the way the bottle on the right retains the charm of being hand drawn, but looks more precise. One caution about symmetry though, it should mostly be used for things that are actually supposed to be symmetrical, like these wine bottles. Let's look at a couple of other drawings to better demonstrate what I'm trying to say. Humans are biologically symmetrical, but to draw us that way can look mechanical, contrived, and unrealistic. Humans are a very animated creature and look better when drawn in an animated way. But I created this gesture using symmetry. I clouded that fact a little by mixing up the color in his clothes, but anyone can still see it's symmetrical. For my purposes though, which was to put a small gesture into a logo, I knew this drawing would be acceptable because logos are expected to be posed in a somewhat mechanical and contrived way. Let's look at another example though. These restaurant diners were taken from one of my larger cartoons. Here I used symmetry to create the wine bottle and glasses, but everything else was freehand and unique. In general, this should be considered the best application for symmetry. But let's look at yet another example that could have made use of symmetry, but didn't. In this cartoon, the dog and the little blonde girl are very close to being drawn in a front view. I might have drawn them symmetrically and gotten away with it, but I just believe each and every part of an action scene like this should be unique. That's just me though. Everyone has their own approach to art and cartoons. Everyone also has to decide when to use and when not to use helpful tools like symmetry in their work. It actually becomes a matter of style. Before finishing though, let's back up and take one more look at a symmetry option that we haven't discussed yet. Symmetry often includes horizontal as well as vertical options, even to the extent that they can be used simultaneously. When we use both options at once to draw an ornamental letter H, for example, we should be able to create it with one-fourth of the work, maintain the charm of a hand-drawn image, and still have precision balance to give the drawing a higher level of credibility. This is Clarence. Use your software wisely, happy cartooning, and thanks for dropping in.